Hey folks, what's up? This is Moby with Shark Attack Golf. Heading out on the road today. Been threatening to do some visits, some interviews. We're gonna go do one today. Check it out, hang with us. Quick instant challenge for you. Since you're an athlete and all, this has nothing to do with athletic ability. Oh. But if I give you a ball and a putter, can you make the long putt from right there? One shot. To the one in the corner? Yep. I mean. Yep. You're up for it? We'll give it a whirl, squirrel. So being an athlete is he had to come look at the whole thing. He's walking it off just like a golf course. Long drive, yes man. He's the reigning world champion. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I can introduce you to him here in a second if you like. Are your sons? They won't need it. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> no freaking way. No freaking way. No, no, you didn't. Yes, we did. I never left. Left. never left the home. There you go. Yeah, there you go, man. Good. Yeah, what's your name? Well, how's it going? Guys trying to close out? Where do you go to school? No problem. No problem. Ah, play a little golf? Yeah. All right, so you're getting ready for the season. You got a few months doing your training? Yeah, I'm trying to plan a few tournaments. So what do you do when it gets cold? Because this is about to get cold before you get into your season. Just put a bunch of clothes on. <laughs> All right. Work on your chipping on your putting inside. All right, you playing a few youth things or no? All right. You beating your big brother? <laughs> he said, oh yeah, I always he said. Okay, that's the one thing in life that you want to do is beat him and then beat the brakes off him and keep it going. It's okay, I'll talk about it. See that? <laughs> hey, that's what you <laughs> You will pass him one day. Yeah. It'll happen. So what was your furthest? Uh, furthest drive of, I guess, in my career in competition is 483 yards. Too bad. Was it inbounds? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had one five and change that was out. <laughs> but no, it's uh, but the longest drive always depends on conditions. So if you're elevated or even sometimes, you know, downwind, you know, hard grid, all that stuff like that. So that changes it. So really when you look at a person's longest drive they've ever had, it doesn't really say too, too much about them. So it's more based on the conditions and the grid and where they can be. There's some guys who have tons of wins on the tour, and they haven't hit the ball as far as some guys who are just in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. That's all good. Do you travel? Oh, yeah. I'm leaving on Sunday to go to New, New Zealand. So we have two events left this year, one in New Zealand, one in China, and then we're off to probably February-ish or January. And start all over again. So I'll be doing the same thing he does, training, working hard. Hidden inside. I don't go outside, man. It's too cold. I don't do the cold. <laughs> Sorry. You're a much better person than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. making fun I'm not taking a picture with him. I'll take a picture with him all day long.